some suburban seven young towpath sort of on a long single journey and it's been wonderful the response has been great and I think residents at Cookham in Berkshire are campaigning to preserve the village immortalized by the painter Stanley Spencer they claim a proposed housing development will destroy their picturesque community Nigel Swetnam reports Sir Stanley Spencer, one of Britain's greatest artists, lived most of his life in the same small house in picturesque Cookham. Uniquely, the village honoured its most famous son with a gallery of his characteristic work, including paintings showing village scenes which have remained unchanged for 50 years. Local campaigners believe that could change if this land, known as Poundfield, disappears under 90 homes which two local farming brothers want to build. They believe it would change the village. So more than any other painter, uh, in England. It, Spencer is associated with a particular village and the fields you can see behind you uh, were painted by Spencer and uh, much of the village is very closely associated with Spencer. One used to see him painting on the moor of the fields all around and the district all around and uh, there are literally I suppose perhaps 50 or 60 paintings of that area. The planning application, the latest of many, is still being considered. Previous applications have all been turned down. Nigel Swetnam, LWT News. London Zoo's newest inmates have given keepers a major feeding problem. The two koalas bred at San Diego Zoo in California are very fussy eaters. They'll only eat eucalyptus leaf tips. The zoo will fly in extra supplies twice a week from America. Something we can't be fussy about the weather. This evening and tonight will stay unsettled with cloud and rain, which could be heavy and persistent in the northeast of the region. The minimum temperatures tonight will be 11 degrees Celsius. That's 52 Fahrenheit. That's all from us this evening. We'll be back later at about 10.25 with the weather news. Until then, have a very good evening.